I remember when I was younger, the things that I thought that I knew, I really didn't know. So in my mind, there was a space of darkness that I trapped myself inside. I became incarcerated in my mind. And the invisible bars that I couldn't see, they were so crippling because I couldn't see them. I couldn't identify the self-hatred that allowed me to be self-destructive and dysfunctional. I couldn't identify because it had became a norm to me. And inside of it becoming a norm to me, I fought other people and other things that tried to make me feel like what I was thinking, what I was feeling, what I was doing wasn't right. So in this hell of darkness, I became addicted and afflicted. I became sabotaged. I became barred inside of a barricade of torturous behavior towards myself and towards others. Inside of that darkness, I learned to see and I began to grow. But I had to continue to go through things over and over again, which is the definition of insanity. When you continue to do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And the key word is expecting. So you have to manipulate your mind and your thoughts, your feelings to believe that what you're doing is justified and it's going to give you a different result. Than what you've been getting. So. Being stuck in the darkness. I shielded myself from light. Because inside of every human being. Spirit. There's an intuition. There's a presence of God. So as God was speaking to me. I was drowning him out. With my screams. With my selfishness. With the sound of. Distractions. But. After continuing to go through being in the belly of the beast where, you know, I end up doing 11 flat years out of my life in jail and prison. I came to the realization that I was so much more worth what I was selling for. And regardless if anybody had ever told me, Jai, just love yourself. I arrived at that liberation, at that enlightenment. And when I found that my self-love was the cure to the root cause of the virus that infected me with ghetto germs and allowed me to be a pollution, that allowed me to function as a weapon of mass destruction instead of a humble servant to love and inspiration and building people up, I felt bad and I began to hate myself more. I began to rebuke the greatness inside of me. So I prolonged my fight. And I stayed there procrastinating, not wanting to do the necessary things it took to come out of the darkness. But once I accepted God, because I realized the greatest tragedy in a man's life is when he loses God and he doesn't miss him. So when I realized that the only thing that was going to get me where I'm supposed to be in life, in my purpose, in my position, was to accept God. I did. But it wasn't an external thing in my perception. It was embracing the God within me. And when I did that, that's when I became free.